Good news to share. I just got a job offer for a cybersecurity engineer role. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a little bit about that process and how I went about the job search. If you're new to the channel, my name is Caleb. And on this channel, we talk about everything tech related. We interview tech professionals, we do loads of certifications and are a community of people building their careers in the tech industry. But yes, I just got this job offer and let me tell you a little bit about the process. So I started the job search last month in January. I started in the second week of January and I did this very deliberately. Now I would have started earlier in like November or December, but if you know how things work, it, when you get to like December, people are on holiday, people are not in the offices. And if you're applying for roles during that, November, December period, you're going to get a lot less responses because people are just not in the offices and they're not looking to hire at that period. Then when it gets to January, loads of new roles open up. There's just a lot more people hiring. People are moving on from older jobs, that sort of thing. You're going to get responses quicker. So I decided late last year, the second week of January, I would start the search. And that is exactly what I did. Now for this one job offer, I did 80 to 90 applications. This is a little bit of an estimate because I don't know the exact number. I kind of lost track at some point, but 80 to 90 applications, loads and loads and loads of rejections. I got four interviews and then of course that one offer. The whole application and interview process was pretty interesting. For interviewing and searching for roles, my strategy was to look for roles that really match my skill set, but also have a few things that I would be interested in learning. And typically pretty much any role you'll go into, there's going to be things that you don't know and don't understand. And that is an opportunity to learn. Now with the four interviews that I had, the very first one that I had was really interesting. And the outcome of that interview, I still don't know. It was like two weeks ago that I did the interview and they just didn't get back to me. It was so weird. I even followed up with a recruiter. I was like, is there any news on the interview that I did? And they were like, okay, yeah, I will check up with the hiring manager that interviewed you. And he just didn't get back to me, ghosted me basically. And as soon as he gave me that response, I was like, yeah, this guy is not gonna get back to me, but it is what it is. <laughs> now, another one of the interviews I had, I got rejected after the first stage. They said they, they are looking for someone with more experience in the areas that were on the job description. And I had a little bit of experience in those areas, but not enough for that level of the role. They were like, if they had a slightly more mid and mid-level role, then they would consider me, but not for the role that I applied for. All in all, it was a really interesting process. And I definitely want to break it down a little bit more. Now, towards the end of last year, I was kind of preparing myself for how I would go about the job search when it came to January. And a lot of the techniques and strategies and just mindset were things I gained from speaking to a lot of tech professionals on the Tech Certified podcast. We always talk about getting jobs, landing your first job in tech, landing your job in IT. I do these interviews to help other people and aspiring professionals, but they are so helpful for me as well. And one of the things I really implemented that I learned from the podcast is that when you're looking for a job, it's kind of a full-time job. If it was me, I would apply to jobs every single day and just get used to being rejected. And I'd like to give this example. Compare two candidates, one has applied to three jobs, whilst the other person have applied to 300 jobs. Which yeah. one has a higher likelihood of landing an interview and landing a job? If you're looking for a nine to five and you don't have a nine to five, your nine to five should be looking for a nine to five. <laughs> I'm also doing a lot of YouTube stuff at the same time and I've got certifications that I study for. So, so I still have other things going on. So on average, every week, I spent about three days from about 10 to five, just applying to roles, like writing up applications, looking for jobs on different job sites that suit my experience, reaching out to some recruiters and also reaching out to just people in the same industry, in the same roles that could give references. But I was really focused on looking for roles with relevant skills. I wasn't kind of just sending my CV out to anywhere. I had a couple of different CVs. One was very cloud focused, another was more cloud security focused. So I was really sending those two out mainly. And the funny thing about the role that I actually got is that I do not remember applying for it. I actually didn't apply for it. The recruiter saw my CV somewhere else, 
because I'd been sending it out. And then he contacted me, tell me about the role, telling me that my CV is a good fit. Thinks I could have a great chance if I interviewed for the role. Super excited and super happy that I finally got the offer. And I know that people are still in the job market. There's definitely a lot of people out there still going through it, still trying to get a role, trying to get a job or move from their current job to another one and could be really struggling with that. A lot of people are definitely still on the search. And if you're watching this and you're in that position, you're on the search. I've kind of been thinking about creating like, like a series or a course to help people on that specific journey. So if that's you, I'm gonna leave a link for a waiting list for a series or course that would help you on the job search. From interviewing so many tech professionals on the Tech Certified Podcast, I learned that there are so many little things that could really increase your chances of getting that first tech job or moving from one tech job to another. These are all things that if I didn't know now, it would have taken me so much longer to get that role. And I kind of want to share that with the audience. So if you are interested in some sort of series or course that could help you with that job search, go to the waiting list in the description and leave your email and we'll update you on the process of that and get that out to you as soon as possible. For now, just trying to understand the interest. But yes, hopefully I'll be starting that role in the coming weeks and I'll keep you guys posted.